friends i neelam am here today i am going to teach you about chapter number 14 lines and angles okay today my topic is protractor measuring angles and types of angles so let's start our teaching learning process for today protractor there are two scales on a protractor inner and outer the reading on the inner scale is from 0 to 180 so this is a here model of protractor okay okay it has two scales for measuring angles inner scale here inner scale here this is from 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 130 140 150 160 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 180 and outer scale is here from 0 degree 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree 40 50 60 70 degree 80 degree 90 degree 100 degree 110 degree 120 degree 130 degree 140 degree 150 degree 160 degree 170 degree and 180 degree this is called outer scale and here inside here all these this is called inner scale this is called inner scale okay this is model of protractor i think you are also having protractor in your geometry box okay so if you don't have please arrange because now we will learn about angles and measuring angle only with the help of protractor it will be possible to measure the angles okay so the reading on the inner scale is from 0 to 180 degree right to left so this is right this is left from right to left all these this is inner scale and from left to right it is outer scale it is outer scale in an anti clockwise direction so we can say there are two scales on a protractor inner and outer the reading on the inner scale is from 0 to 180 degree right to left in an anti clockwise direction the reading on the outer scale is from 0 degree to 180 degree left to right in a clockwise direction angles are always measured in degrees this is symbol for degree negligible small circle this is a symbol for degree negligible small circle not dot okay here the line through the line through here o center and 180 is the base line the point between 0 degree and 100 80 degree on the base line is known as the center the point between 0 degree and 180 degree so this is the point here for this this is the point the line through here zero center and 180 degree is the base line the point 0 between 0 degree and 180 degree on the base line is known as the center here from 90 degree to direct here this this point this is called center it is called center on the base line on the base line then measuring angles measuring an angle keep the center of the protractor on the vertex okay 
this vertex will be kept on the here the center of the protector will be kept on the vertex o of the angle so that arm o a of the angle coincide with the base line and the arm ob goes along the angle measuring 65 degree okay this should be straight here this should be straight along the base line and you will measure the angle you will measure the angle with the help of protector okay then with the help of protector you will measure these angles okay this base line should be straight and this center should be kept here it should be kept here and the center of the protector keep on the vertex o here of the angle so that arm coincide here with the base line base line of a protector okay then comes types of angles types of angles an angle has two arms and one common point it has two arms one, arm 1 arm 2 and this is vertex an acute angle angle greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree these types of angles are called acute angles then right angle an angle of measure 90 degree this angle 90 degree it is called right angle obtuse angle angle greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree it is 100 degree it is greater than 90 degree and but less than 180 degree this type of angle is called obtuse angle we can say an angle which is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree are called obtuse angles then straight angle angle that measure 180 degree here this is straight angle angle of measure 180 degree is called straight angle then comes reflex angle an angle greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree if this angle is this was 180 degree and but 210 it is more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree so this type of angle is called reflex angle this is called reflex angle so let's do practice zone 4 without actually measuring the following angles observe and classify the angles as acute obtuse right or reflex when you look at this angle this is more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree so this is acute angle no need to measure just observe and classify the angles and this is more than 90 degree so this is called obtuse angle and this angle it is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree this is called reflex angle and this angle it is more than 180 degree or less than yes this is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so this type of angle is called obtuse angle this is greater than when this is 90 degree and but this is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so this angle is obtuse angle d okay then measure the in question number 2 you will measure the following angles using a protractor and write their measurements okay write their measurements also classify them as acute obtuse right or reflex angle here you will measure these angles with the help of protractor with the help of protractor and classify them as acute obtuse right or reflex angle
okay so if you don't have protractor please arrange because in the next exercises we are going to learn about the construction of an angle okay construction of an angle using a protractor okay we will learn how to draw an angle how to construct an angle by using a protractor okay so complete here practice zone 4 you can do complete in the book itself and this practice zone 2 also 2 and 3 in the book itself okay no need to do in the notebook do in the book okay try to learn about these new words parallel lines transversal acute angle obtuse angle right angle straight angle reflex angle complementary angle supplementary angle okay and this is about protector angles okay so stay alert stay healthy thank you have a nice day